everybody. How you doing? I'm Dan Dawson. Great to see you. As you can see, I'm out here in the mangroves. I'm in the state of Florida. I'm a native Floridian. I love it with a passion. And there's so much to love, and so many people do. And everyone that finds out what she really has to offer falls in love forever. I'd like to talk to you about a new documentary series that we're going to be putting together. It's called Native Florida. These mangroves are here because, well, this is where they're from. But the cool thing is, where they're from couldn't exist without them. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The mangroves formed the state of Florida. These roots and the way you see them growing in all directions near the waterline catch any floating debris and cause it to sink at their base. And over time, things build up. Eventually, land is formed. This is how Florida was formed, just one of the natives. Now you might find it filling in more with garbage and other things, but this is where we are in the state of Florida, and this is a native part of it, <laughs> one of its foundational parts. And yet, right here, if you watch behind me, those are all Australian pines in every other direction. And within 50 feet of me right now, Mayan cichlids, spiny tail iguanas, common tree iguanas, Quaker parrots, Amazon parrots, who knows, maybe even a Burmese python. We have to find out what our native species of plants, fish, and everything that makes Florida, Florida. Because we're in a new planetary evolutionary time. And we have to protect what was here and keep it here and have it flourish. Even if we can't, we really need to know the history, right? Because if something bad happens, you got to learn so it doesn't happen again. But I think as a team, we're going to make this an awesome journey. We're going to go around the state of Florida and we're going to look at all the native species that used to be here. And we're going to recommend different opportunities for people to get involved. We really want grassroots movements to help protect these species, no matter what they are, in ways that we can cohabitate with humanity and nature and common sense. Not crazy. But we have to make everything work the best we possibly can. And together is the way to do it. Because many minds have much knowledge. To make informed decisions, you must be informed. And then your ideas are so welcome. So we're going to go around and check out many different things around the state. And we're going to learn how to protect and even create hatcheries and plantings and all kinds of things needed to bring back our natural nature. Natural native Florida. Look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.